In this video, I'll go over all of the YouTube metrics that we provide to help you better understand and analyze videos based on multiple ranking factors. So let's get started. Okay, so we will be going over all of the metrics on YouTube. Now, I want to start on the metrics in this widget right here, the Search Insights widget. So to view the metrics, you first need to do a search on YouTube. So for today's example, I search for SEO tutorial for beginners, and this is the search results page. Now, the first metric in the Search Insights widget is the ranking difficulty metric. Now, the ranking difficulty is from 0 to 100 100 being the most difficult to rank. So for this search phrase, SEO tutorial for beginners, it's a 60 out of 100, so it's on the higher end. So it might be a little difficult for you to rank for this search phrase. I will include a link to this YouTube metrics article in the description where you can learn exactly how that metric is calculated right here. So you can click on this link here, detailed breakdown, and it'll open up this table here of all the top ranking videos of your search phrase, the channel, how many views they have, how old they are, all of these additional metrics, and also the ranking difficulty for each one of these videos. Now to get the ranking difficulty that you see here, a 60 out of 100, we take an average of this to come up with this ranking difficulty score, okay? Next up is query. So this is your search query. So SEO tutorial for beginners and search volume. So this is the average monthly search volume for your search phrase. Now this number is pulled directly from the Google Keyword Planner and top channel. So this will show you the channel that has the most videos ranking for your search phrase on this search results page. So the top channel here is Simply Learn. They have four videos ranking. Next up is maximum views. Now this is the maximum views that any video in the top 20 videos has. So it's 2.2 million. Now this is a good indicator of whether optimizing your video for this search query will get you a lot of views. Next up is average views. So this is the average number of views the top 20 videos ranking here have received. And average age is the average age of these top 20 ranking videos and it's about two years. And keywords in title. So this metric tells you how many videos ranking in the top 20 have this keyword in the video title. And it's about 26% of videos and keywords in description. So this shows you how many videos have this search phrase in the video description and it's 26% or five out of 19 and added in the last seven days. So this shows you how many videos have been published in the last seven days. Now, if this number is high, that means that YouTube prefers very recent videos such as latest news, breaking news. But for this search phrase, it's 0%. So it appears that YouTube doesn't really prefer super fresh content for this search phrase. And then similarly, added in the last six weeks. So this metric shows you how many videos were published in the last six weeks. So this metric shows you whether or not Google prefers fresher content. But for this search phrase, it's about 5% of videos were added in the last six weeks. So if these numbers are high, that means YouTube prefers fresh videos for this search query. But these numbers in our case are low. So Google prefers ranking more of the older established videos. And you can see the average age is about two years. And then lastly in this widget is the total verified channels. So this is the percent of channels that are verified in the top 20 for this search phrase. Next up, I wanna to touch on the metrics on the individual search results themselves. So if you hover over the metrics, you can see this window pop up and it shows you how many subscribers this channel has. It shows you the engagement score of this video. Now this score is calculated by the total number of people who either liked or commented on the video divided by the total views the video has. And then views per day. So this is the average number of views the video has gotten per day. And then next up in this pop-up window is the SEO score. So the total SEO score is zero out of 100. The higher the SEO score means that this video is better optimized for the search phrase. Now this total score encompasses 
all these elements right here. So first of the elements is the keyword optimization score. This score is determined by these elements right here, whether or not there is an exact match in the video title, whether or not there is an exact match in the video description, whether or not there's a broad match in the title and also in the video description. And each one of these elements has specific number of points, as you can see, right here that will ultimately calculate the overall optimization score. So for this video, the keyword optimization score is 10 out of an 80. Now, if you want more details about how these scores are calculated, just click the link in the description to the YouTube metrics article and scroll down to SEO score calculations. And you can learn in detail about how the SEO score is calculated right here. Next up in this window is the title length. So Keywords Everywhere provides points depending on the length of the video title. It also provides points depending on the video description length and also the quality of the video as well. So again, all of these elements will calculate into the overall total SEO score of this video. For this instance, it's a 28 out of 100. Now I wanna to touch on the most used tags widget right here. So Keywords Everywhere pulls all of the tags that the top 20 videos are using and Keywords Everywhere shows you only the tags that have been used by three or more videos. So these are the most used tags from these top ranking videos. And you can see there are a total of 20 most used tags. You can also see the average monthly search volume, the monthly search volume over the past uh, 12 months, and also how many videos have used each individual one of these tags. So 12 videos use the tag search engine optimization, uh, nine videos used the tag SEO tutorial, and so on. Now, the search volume and the trend data does come from the Google Keyword Planner. And next up, I wanna show you the Video Insights widget. So once you click onto any video, uh, you'll see this Video Insights widget on the right-hand corner. Now, these metrics pertain only to this specific video versus the Search Insights widget. These metrics pertain to the top 20 videos that are ranking but the video insights is just for the one specific video you are on. So first up is the optimization score. Now this is from zero to 100. And if you hover over it, you can see what elements are taken into account to determine the optimization score of this video. So a higher number means that it's more optimized and it takes you in, into account the video quality, the length of the video. It checks whether there is a broad match keyword in the title, and the description, and also whether or not there is an exact match keyword in the title and description. It also counts the total tag characters and also total tags used to determine the overall optimization score of this video. And if you want more details about how this is calculated, uh, just click that same link in the description and scroll down to optimization score calculations where you can learn exactly how many points are allocated for each element like video quality, video length, broad match tags and title and so on. Next up is the engagement score. Now this is a gauge of how much the audience engage with this specific video. Now it is calculated by the total number of people who either liked or commented on this video divided by the total views this video has. So right now it's a 6% engagement score and then views per day. So this is the average number of views this video receives per day. And then topic expertise. Now this is a gauge of whether YouTube believes that this channel has expertise for this type of video topic. Now on the right hand side, you can see the suggested videos right here. Now these videos that are shown here are always videos from channels that YouTube believes have expertise in the topic that the current video is about, right? Now topic expertise is calculated as the percentage of suggested videos which are from the exact same channel. Next up is total subscribers. So how many subscribers this channel has? And then total channel views is right here. So how many views this channel has received in total. And then lastly is channel country. So this is the country that the channel belongs to. And then this is the tags widget. So these are all the tags that this specific video is currently using. And there are about 20 tags that this video used. And those are all of the YouTube metrics we have to show you today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.